Plaintiff Adama Shakur says the defendant lives in the apartment above her. And it's been nothing but a nightmare since he and his girlfriend moved in. Adama claims they fight constantly, and she's called the police on the defendant five times. She's suing for laptop repairs and emotional distress. Defendant Varma Dorley says Adama is the worst neighbor he's ever had. And she's constantly calling the police on him and making false complaints. Varma says Adama even called the police after she heard his young son jumping up and down while watching a cartoon. So he's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. It's been a nightmare living in the apartment with Mr. Dorley ever since March 15th. Um, there's noise, the, the baby's up, running through the house, three o'clock in the morning. What do you mean living in the apartment with him? Oh, he lives on, they, he lives on top of me. Okay. He, he and his girlfriend lives on top of me. Mm -hmm. um, myself, my daughter, as well as my son, we're all in college. So we study, we have um, lots of responsibilities. I work, I'm a single parent, I take care of my kids, I make sure they're both in college. Mm -hmm. And the problem is we can't study. Um, he's been talked to by um, the manager, the owner of their apartment. Um, right when they first moved in, they, they were talked to and said- About what? About noise, the, the constant noise. Like what, like, music too loud no, or just, yelling? Just what? stomping through the house. And, and then uh, you they fight, they fight all the time. You hear like boom, 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 boom. And then you won't hear anything. And then you hear like, you'll hear like screaming and, and my dog is doing like this. And you know, <laughs> the dog, he's 13 years old. He's old, he's, he's you, know, he, you know, he just wants peace. It's to the point where the landlord said, just start calling the cops. And the manager of their apartment, he had to go up and clear 15 guys out. He has like all these guys coming in the apartment and you can hear like the floor creaking and we're like, what the heck is going on up there? It's just, it's crazy to the point where I've called the police so many times, they think I'm crazy. <laughs> they think I'm crazy, sir. Crazy. Let's, let's hear from him, sir. Yeah, this lady is the worst neighbor ever in the world. She is. She even called the police on a two years old for watching cartoon. You know the kids, if anybody in here got kids, they wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Whatever the cartoon character do, a two years old do it. I tried working there with this lady. She called the police because the cartoon was too loud? It's not because the cartoon was too loud. We live in an old building. What did she call the police? She for? called the police because the little boy jumped as the cartoon character jumped. Okay. She right. called the police for that. Did the landlord come and talk to you? The landlord came there and said, oh, I'm gonna put a rock in there because your floor is old and I understand that and it's very old, you know? Mm -hmm. So he said he would put a copper in there, but all of a sudden he went on vacation. She called the police 10 times in like three months I've been in this apartment. About what? Noise? For nuisance. Did you call the police when the cops 10 come, times? I had the Hold on. That, sir, I had the police reports. I don't do anything maliciously. I got you. How many times did you call the I police? I have about four or uh, about five or six police reports. If you if you like to see the police report, no, you can tell me. Okay, it's compl it's about the noise. It's about them fighting. Her scream. The girl, his girlfriend, screaming. Last week, I no. Did they investigate any of the five? Yeah. Did they conclude that any of the five had any real uh, credence? Yes. Um, yes, they did, sir. How it's, so? What did they um, do? It the says. The Lansdowne Police Report received a report of a loud party inside. Upon our arrival, officers could hear loud noises while we were standing in the driveway that appeared to be coming from the third floor. All right, let's see that. Yes. What about the other one? Okay. Um, so police heard it themselves, sir. Go ahead. It's and they didn't say one. it's jumping from cartoons. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Ryder stood for Ryder stood by for several minutes to determine the noise level. The sound of yelling and a television could clearly be heard in the hall. No, that was the cartoons. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> watching television and stomping. That was him. Police were no dispatched. You, you watching no, cartoons. Your Honor. No, Your You're Honor. still watching cartoons. No, Your you are still watching cartoons. <laughs> no, Your Honor. Go no, ahead. Your Honor. That's not true. That lady just making up story. What's uh, the third one, man? The, the, um, the third one is police were dispatched for threats at her apartment, too. Upon arrival, contact was made with the complainant. She stated that her neighbors above her were deliberately jumping up and down. They do that. They... And then when the police leave... Why would leave, a grown man want to jump around? Your Honor. That's the kid. Get it? Not, not that's that not the kid. It is not the kid. No, and Your Honor, not my apartment is only 11 not, feet long. You know why? Because I watch Georgie sometimes. You look I'm, through I'm, his window, now you're peeping in. No, 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 no. You're no, worse no, than sir. that. 
Well, no, how sir. do you know it's, whether it's him or the child Be jumping up and down? Because the, their little boy loves me. I met their little boy. I watched their little boy before. I can sit him on the couch, and he will not jump up and down. Do you turn the cartoons on? Yes, I turn the TV on for him. I let him watch cartoons. How often does he stay with she you? She don't even have cable. How often does... <laughs> TV is off. All right. How do you know my TV is off? Oh, me the Let's get to the laptop and right, emotional right. Thank distress. You. Thank you. Why Thank are you, you suing him for that, ma'am? All right. The laptop, okay, this is what happened, sir. They have an air conditioner upstairs that, that probably was running for a really long time. Um, we came, uh, I woke up, it was May 23rd. Woke up, we have two laptops on my table. There was a bubble in the ceiling and then there's water leaking from the ceiling, and it's all on my, my laptop. I started crying. I knew that my computer was fried. I ran up the steps. His girlfriend was there. He wasn't there. I knocked on the door. I said, is your, compu is, is your air conditioner on? She said, yes. Yeah. I said, turn it off. So she turned it off. I run back downstairs. His girlfriend comes down, and this is where my daughter, if you don't mind, my daughter can sure. tell you if what happened after that. Stay with tuned. Hi. My name is Maja Shakur. Mm -hmm. um, that morning I woke up. It was actually, we have two computers because I go to school, so my computer was the one that was on the side where the... Uh, water drip down, mm -hmm. we have pictures with a little bubble. So I wake up one morning, say this is the laptop, I dump it over like this and all this water just falls out. Like, huh. it just, so we had to take it to the computer guy. Like I tried to dry, blow dry it, all that stuff, rice, all that. What did he worked. do wrong? Um, what he did wrong was his, they admitted to, um, the, he, when he came home, he said, oh mama, I'm so sorry about your computer. The landlord got you. I just said, the landlord? So I let it simmer for yeah, a day. That's so why I'm asking, what did he do wrong? He, the, the air conditioner belonged in their apartment. <laughs> and he's not supposed to have his air on? No, he's supposed to know that the outlet, he, you're supposed to know how to install it. And oh, he installed it? Yeah, they put the air conditioner in. And when his girlfriend came downstairs, she said, oh, I was, he was telling me, was, why is this water all in the floor? He was okay. telling me why, this water, oh, why was okay, all this okay. water in the floor? Their little boy loves me. I met their little boy. I watched their little boy before. I can sit him on the couch, and he will not jump up and down. Do you turn the cartoons on? Yes, I turn the TV on for him. I let him watch cartoons. How often does he stay with she you? She don't even have cable. How often does... <laughs> I don't have cable. The TV is off. Plaintiff Adama Shakur is suing her neighbor, who claims Adama constantly calls the police on him, and she even called the police on his young son. All right, let me hear from you, sir. Yes, Your Honor. This lady even called the police 10 times, like I said, and then I went at five, called my police, co uh, my probation officer, because the police can't even do nothing, because they know she's, something is wrong with this lady. That sounds like your counterclaim. Let's yeah. talk about the laptop. The first. laptop situation, when I came, I came from applying for a job, I said, my, uh, she ran into me, downstairs. I said, oh, mama, I'm sorry, let me see what's going on. I just came from somewhere, let me see what's going on. I call her mama to mm -hmm. show her respect. I'm very respectful to this mm -hmm. lady. I call her mama. Well, so I ran up, I said, mama, let me see what's going on. As soon as I get there, she ran a whole paragraph or book saying that I'm gonna pay for a laptop. So I look at the thing, I'm like, hold up, what's going on? I'm reading back 250. I said, oh, mama, you know what? I'm gonna take it to my friend or somebody left to the shop and see what's really wrong with it. Cause the dumbest she's saying- What's I'm, wrong with what? The laptop okay. and see what's wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'm responsible for it, but I'm just out of courtesy to be mm -hmm. very respectful to this lady. I know it ain't gonna cost me 250. Why do you believe the water was coming through the ceiling? The reason why the floor is old. I live in an old building. Her, car, her floor is brand new. My floor is old. So I was just thinking to myself like, maybe it is a possibility, but it's not that much water. Did like you came. install the air conditioner? The air conditioner, yes, I put the air conditioner in there. In your window? In my window, but my wind, the air conditioner was facing out, the water dropping out. And it's just a little, because of the, the heat, the house is so, when my girlfriend is cooking African food, yo, it be so hot. <laughs> and she loved the African food. She come and eat. That's how she know the AC was running I don't, water. I don't That's how she eat. know. No, I don't, sir. When she came in there, she saw the water, the little bucket mm -hmm. under the air conditioner. I protected from day one. I protected it, the water. So she said, she said, they're going to bless right here. I took it to the landlord, to the, landlord the guy in charge. He said, but if anything, she should be coming to us to sue us, not you. Who is you? I don't own that building. I ain't even got money for that building to own it. Your emotional distress is for what? Sir, 
Um, I'm a straight A student. Mm -hmm. I get straight I, A I, students I'm a smoke straight, weed. I have, a, me, I have a four point oh. Straight A students smoke weed. You sell it. I okay. sell when you, you buy. You sell weed. You sell weed. You buy. You, you owe me money. Weed. You owe me money. You sell weed. Okay. You sell weed. This I is, sell weed. Judge Mathis. This is the why. This is the reason why. <laughs> The men are coming in and out of the house because he sells the weed. Now, he I, called me up and told me when I couldn't get to the police, when I stopped calling the police because I just knew that something else had to happen because I, my back was up against the wall. I called, the, I called his PO in, in May, June 9th. He calls me. I keep getting these strange What did you call his PO and say? I called his PO and said, would you please tell him to leave me alone? I said... I'm having problems with Varma. She said, well, he's not even supposed to be living there. He's not, that's not even his address. So I said, well, <clears throat> he's up, he's up in the apartment. She said, well, he's not supposed to be up in that apartment. What else did you tell the probation officer other than he was jumping up and down? I said that he smokes. It's always weed in the, it's always weed in the hallway. <laughs> Why did you feel you should do that? Because he would not leave me alone. What's that's that my daughter. Have? What's That's that? not me. That's my daughter. Your daughter live with you? Yes, sir. And what is that you have? I That's smoke. my daughter. I smoke. Okay. I smoke. Yeah. Shows me pictures of your daughter smoking yeah. weed. Yeah. Who lives Yana. with you. Yet you call his probation officer to get him in trouble saying that he is using drugs when in fact your where, daughter where, where is also taken, doing it. Sir. Wherever, we know that your daughter smokes weed. You had no right to call this man's probation officer to get him in trouble about smoking weed. You call the police, you call the landlord, you call knowing that one report to a probation officer about any allegation is likely to have someone locked up. Your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted for emotional distress. Thank you, you call for that. Have a good day. I wish everything be okay with me. I it love won't it. be. It, it won't be. It won't be. be. And it'd be a great thing. I hope she don't call my probation officer no more. I, I, I might. I might. He, hey. might, he might have won this one, but he knows. I don't get tested anymore. He so knows. Sorry. That he you beats do his what woman. You do. He beats his woman. I don't Girls, beat my woman. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you beat her up. You yourself know I don't yeah, beat. You, I'm not a you, woman beater. Yeah, I'm a very right respectful here. person. A straight A student here trying to diss me on national TV. Respect, mama.